Hello, boys and girls, my name is Halsasi and welcome back to Factorio. We are on the home stretch, um, producing as many science packs as possible. Last time we set up this secondary uh, uh, rocket uh, array where we can produce more uh, space science. So far, not that effective yet because we are lacking um, fuel. And if we if we look here, we can see there are empty empty uh, belts. And the reason for this is down here we are lacking uh, the petroleum gas. Uh, this is not that surprising. We have a refinery here, uh, which does not have enough oil to produce it. And we have another one up here, uh, probably also not enough oil, uh, but a train is coming um, here as well. But the uh, oil fields are quite far off because I think this one, uh, that's the one that's mainly delivering the oil. Because, oh, well, here we, we also have some, some oil remaining and a lot uh, to spare. So that's that. Um, what I did since last time, uh, hooked up another uh, uh, copper ore field. Uh, we did the, uh, the the iron ore field. Or, no, I said I would do, uh, and um, extended the the wall around here, and I also cleaned out quite a bit of area here on the outside because pollution. But let's head down here. This is where we also produce petroleum and lubricant, but apparently not enough. So let's head down there and see what we can do. The petroleum situation seems to be sorted, at least for now, but the next one is sulfuric acid. And sulfuric acid is made out of sulfur and iron plates and sulfur is made out of petroleum gas and water so once again we need more petroleum um, at least i'm hoping with the with the uh, improvements we did just now we should have enough so we can set up a factory dedicated to uh, sulfuric acid uh, where we also deliver petroleum and as with basically all our bills that require water or most of them it's easier to have them in a place that sits right next to water instead of bringing the water into the factory that's why i have thought let's build something up here where we have a bit of coastline that we can use um, for the water supply and then we only need to bring in the petroleum the iron ore and uh, pick up the sulfuric acid i think that should work let's see and here we have a setup for sulfuric acid that at least seems to uh, supply enough sulfuric acid for our needs. Um, we have here petroleum gas that's uh, supplied plentiful. From that we generate sulfur and with a bit of uh, metal or more precisely iron we convert that to sulfuric acid which then is loaded to trains and by the looks of it uh, the trains are queuing up 
I had to uh, reduce the, the train limit to one because this is not a setup where we have any, any waiting base. And with that, we should see more reliable production of space science and also of everything else that requires sulfuric acid. So at this point, it's just a question of where is the next weak link in our setup? Uh, what do we need to improve next? We are back here at our rocket sauna to see what's the next thing that we are lacking off. And by this empty belt you can see it's rocket fuel. And that's due to the fact we don't have enough uh, light oil here for the production. Uh, because if we have a look, um, the only place where we are producing is over here. And currently we are not producing because we don't have any, any crude oil. And crude oil is a bit of an issue. We are also producing it down here, but we are converting everything to petroleum gas. So that's no good. But I think we can take this concept and instead of converting everything to a uh, petroleum gas, convert everything to light oil and then have a bit of petroleum gas on the side. But we won't do it on here. Uh, because um, this is basically dedicated for a lot uh, petroleum gas and for uh, the the loop and instead let's pick a different coal field For example this one uh, we can go out here and then up and then have uh, water coming from 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 the from the coast here um, and then basically just copy this setup that we have here minus the conversion everything to petroleum gas setup is complete we have the coal we have the water we even have the steam we have our uh, loading stations one for petroleum gas which accepts one train and one for the light oil uh, and we do have a tiny bit of storage for petroleum gas larger storage for the light oil because we want to focus on the light oil uh, that we crack uh, here um, in this way and out of the the refining we do get a tiny bit of um, of uh, of petroleum gas, so we need to take care of uh, uh, getting that out of the way, because otherwise the the whole system would backlog. So, what we want to do to kickstart is we need a bit of. Um, of the heavy oil in here so uh, let's disconnect the uh, the first um, two uh, refineries from the rest so that with the oil that I have uh, here uh, we can actually uh, fill these two up Nice. And we are getting more out of it. So once we have reached a, a certain level here in, in tanks, we can um, connect this to the, to the rest of the system without fear that it would uh, suddenly stop working. And as you can see, also the, the cracking 
starts to, to pick up, we get light oil in here. Um, there we want to have the pump in that direction. Uh, we also have petroleum gas there. Not much uh, because this setup is not focused on the petroleum gas. We want to have the light oil here. And once we have that going, uh, we should see that uh, the trains that uh, are stuck for the uh, rocket um, fuel will pick up light oil from here. And with that, we can move on in our way to figure out uh, what else needs fixing, where else we have to improve in order to get our production up. The next item that needed fixing was this uh, uh, sulfuric acid loading station, uh, which we have just built. Uh, I added a few waiting platforms because we had issues where the train was sitting at the unloading station empty, wanting to go to the loading station, but a train was also sitting here, waiting to go to an unloading station, so they deadlocked each other. And now that we have waiting base, we can say, okay, you can uh, request up to four trains going here. Uh, they have room to, uh, to wait here and that should free up the uh, unloading station. So if we have a, a full train here and any stations that uh, require sulfuric acid, that would work out. But I'm sure that's not the, the last of, of our problems that we have of course are always looking to be stocked up with uh, with modules uh, at this stage we're using quite a bit of uh, productivity but also speed modules so we do have uh, quite a bit uh, to to spare at the moment but as we have seen in the past uh, once we uh, uh, set up a new factory like we did for yellow or purple signs that uses quite a lot of, um, of, the, of the modules that we have um, in, in our pocket and currently we're using about 50% of our power that we generate. We are making decent progress, but the oily business uh, is not yet done. Uh, we do have again and again issues with the, with the supply. And if we look at our refinery here, where we deliver the, the crude oil, you can see here we have an empty train sitting, cannot go to the oil, oil, oil field. And uh, if we look at the trains, uh, we can see one is loading there. Um, then we have two at the unloading station, uh, probably completely empty. And then we have two trains stuck uh, somewhere in the metal and I think uh, the way to uh, uh, fix this issue is actually going here and remove that part so we have the train stations that can um, back up trains and we do not care about how much oil we have in there at least on that one this one let's lift that as well and then maybe 
we need more trains for the oil delivery. So here we limit the train to one. And I think on this one we, we leave it. At least as long as we do have uh, some stations um, that can uh, hold that can accept trains going to them because um, now we see either they are waiting at a station or they are moving but they are no longer stuck somewhere in limbo or on the, the rails and with that we should have a better flow of uh, the uh, crude oil and also the uh, the uh, petroleum because petroleum that's the thing that we are um, again and again lacking uh, let's see can we see if we see a gap in in the uh, uh, solid fuel or plastics that would indicate um we had we had a, a, an interruption there currently looking looking good um, but also down here i added uh, another uh, waiting bay there um, maybe also here we will remove that um, and reduce it to three trains because what happens is train uh, see we have enough uh, oil crew, petroleum here let's go to that station train pulls in uh, starts loading and then the uh, the, the level uh, drops below the threshold and then the train stops where it's sitting in the middle of on 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 the on the rail uh, potentially blocking other trains so that's that's no good so let's see if these tweaks uh, really uh, helped the last tweak for today was uh, our expansion here uh, we had a bit of a side effect that now we are consuming the heavy oil um, in greater quantity so no lubricant is being produced which means where we are needing lubricant we have a bit a lack thereof so what i think we will do is have a pump here copy that over and make this just slightly uh, over that threshold that we have here so we are first uh, producing lubricant if lubricant is full then this tank will fill up and uh, we will produce uh, light oil out of the of the heavy oil and if we look at our production uh, we can see it's looking quite nice um, we're producing around 200 of most things um, space suns is even up to 180 um, not sure what's what's uh, uh, going on with uh, the uh, the military signs but you can see we had a peak there so we can produce more but we're pretty stable on on this level and I think if we want to further uh, expand uh, our production we need 
uh, more space science um, because everything else is easy to scale but that's definitely a project for next time hope you enjoyed this oily episode and uh, join me next time when we do more space science